Hi there, Virtual Space Hero community. We are getting so many messages about virtual team buildings and hybrid team buildings, in particular the question, how can we help that our team still feels that bond and that they feel connected even through the virtual space? That is why I recorded this very short video to explain you and give you insights about one team building that I designed several years ago for a virtual organization. But First of all, I would really like to say that I personally rather suggest the organizations and the team leaders I work with to think about those small things that you can do in every in, in, in every day's life, to have a proper check-in, to share personal information, one fun question at the beginning, or maybe even using asynchronous communication channels where you share, for example, pictures of your current workspace, pictures of what are you looking out of the window, what are you seeing there, or pictures of a space, a spot, a country, a city, a house, whatsoever, where you would love to work from at one day. Anyways, those small activities help you in your day-to-day -day life to feel connected, to get to know each other better. But now let's come to, let's get to the point. There was one team that I was working with many years ago, and it was a virtual organization. I was the head of the communication committee. And in that organization, believe it or not, for many years, there was not even one virtual team building. And I believe it was the first virtual team building that we designed in my team. Together with Carla and Steve, we sat down and thought about what do we want to do? Something fun, casual, something that helps us to get to know each other even better. So what we did is we came up with the idea to use pictures um, as a tool to connect better or as something to connect better. We asked all team members to hand in two pictures. Picture number one is the picture is a picture of the childhood. Childhood that um, a picture that we connect a very strong memory with. It was a very special moment, something from the childhood. Picture number two was a picture from whatever moment in our lives, but with a very important hobby, something that we relate to, something that's very important for us. And so each team member was invited to send those two pictures to a designated moderator. In that case, it was Steve. Steve was handling the pictures, and then he was also in charge of moderating the whole team building. And what he did is we started with the childhood pictures. So in that particular team, we had quite a, an age span. So we had members that were 25 years, but we also had members that were 55, 60 years old and older. And so, of course, you can imagine the childhood pictures, some of them, it was really not clear at all who that is. And it was so much fun when Steve started showing them that we guessed who was that, who is that team member that we are seeing there. So this is how the first part of the activity ran. When we guessed correctly, the person, the team member was invited to explain a little bit what was that moment about? What was going on there? What age did he or she have um, at that point in time? And it was really a fun conversation that went beyond only that moment in time, but talking about the society in that moment, the family, what he or she was going through, how school was, and so on and so forth. Part two of the activity was then we showed pictures of a hobby that we were um, that was very important to us, something in our lives that is very important to us that the others might not know. And it was really super fun also seeing pictures of our team colleagues in some hobbies that we were frankly not aware of. And with that, we really had a fun morning. It was only one and a half hour with some coffee chat, some of us even showing up in the pyjama. It was just a lot of fun getting to know each other. And now I really, because in preparation for, for this short, short video, I was looking for the publication because we published this team building and we're going to share it with you as well. But I was just looking for the pictures that at that point in time I was sharing. And uh, let me share Share with you here the two pictures that I handed in that I really um, was it was super fun seeing them again. So the left side here, you can see me and my sister always in a twin outfit. My mom loved to knit and also to sew all our clothes by herself. And so also just 
sharing this emotion about my childhood. We were always dressed as twins. You see us, we were only 14 months apart and we look very similar, only that I'm blonde. My sister is uh, brown haired, but it was super fun just sharing that with my colleagues, something very personal that they didn't know. And also for myself, remembering it, how all the people in our village were always like, oh, the twins are coming just because we're dressed so um, the same all the time. That was picture one. And on the right side, you see picture number two. It is me dancing. At that point in time, I'm dancing at a Zouk party. And uh, you must know that I am a passionate dancer. And sharing my dancing passion with other people is something that I really, I'm really, I really love to do. And also beyond just being a dancer, I was also able to uh, design and conceptualize a new concept that is called dance your way into leadership. But well, this video is not about dancing your way into leadership. It's just about how you can design a virtual team building that helps you and your team connect better. I hope you like it. I would love to know your comments. So let me know in the comments also what you enjoy uh, when doing a virtual team building, if you do one, and what activities worked well for you. And if you run this same activity, also come back to me. I really would love to know. And don't forget, let's become a virtual space hero. <laughs>